To reinforce interreligious dialogue, Kazakhstan has instigated the Congress of World Religions. All major religious denominations are represented at this event. Catholic, Muslim, Russian Orthodox, Jew, Buddhist, all exchange their viewpoints and have resolved during two congresses already to work on enhancing their relationships. Initiated by the President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, and Pope John Paul II in 2003, the first Congress of World Religions closed with the declaration, the participants of this Congress recognize that extremism, separatism, terrorism, and any form of human violence has nothing to do with the true meaning or direction of religion or any threat to humanity. Of its 15 million inhabitants, Kazakhstan comprises more than 6 million Russian Orthodox faithful. The Russian community is historically very important to Kazakhstan. The Zinov Cathedral in Almaty is a shining symbol of this religion. If we look at what has happened over the last 30 years, the war in Vietnam, the war in Afghanistan today, soldiers came into these countries to make war while saying that the presence was a question of guaranteeing peace for the good of the nation. This good of the nation involved bloodbaths. It is thus important to understand the word peace, to make sure that our partners and the rest of the world in general understand the word in the same way. Of course, we hope that the whole world will hear our message of peace and will understand and embrace our goodwill. Eight million Kazakhs, 38% of the population, form part of the Muslim community. Statistics relating to religious groups in Kazakhstan reveal a significant reawakening of the Muslim way of life. I start in the name of Allah, our all-powerful protector. All of us, we are all aware that there has been a difficult period. During this hard time, our Kazakh ancestors, but also many in other countries, encountered difficulties brought on by the state. Taking, for example, the city of Almaty, there were 14 mosques. Of these 14, the communists destroyed 13. One single mosque remained. This remaining mosque was the smallest. Now, thanks to God, since the declaration of Kazakh independence, during these last 17 years, there has been great, great change. We are in Astana, the new capital of Kazakhstan. This dynamic city will play an important role in the quest for world peace. Among the first great monuments constructed in Astana is this pyramid designed by the British architect Norman Foster. Next July, it will host the Third Congress of World Religions. This Congress will help promote peace and tolerance across religions throughout the world. The Common World Forum, organized in Astana, was a great event. It brings only positive things to us. 
It is a very broad dialogue and everyone can express themselves to speak about what goes well, but also about what does not. Dialogue is the best way of solving problems peacefully without getting into confrontation. When I see the life of the Jewish community over here in Kazakhstan, and I live in Kazakhstan for 15 years, and I see the beautiful relationship between any nation over here, and all the support from, from the people, and not just from the people. We don't have the stress against doing things. The fact that we can over here now pray is a miracle, because it wasn't like that. People was exiled because of that. Today, thanks to the policy of religious and inter-ethnic tolerance supported by the Kazakh authorities, Kazakh Jews can commemorate Pesach, or Passover, and all its customs and traditions. I came to Kazakhstan approximately in the 1750s. And since that time, uh, Lutheran faith uh, were in, have been in Kazakhstan. And, uh, but it was a religion of immigrants from Germany, from Scandinavia, Scandinavia and Baltic states. And mass uh, Lutheranism uh, came to Kazakhstan since deportation of German, ethnic German from Volga area. And people who were deported in November, December 1941, they were welcomed Kazakhstanis. They helped them. And uh, always we had the peaceful and nice relation with people, all people who around us. Every nationality has its, has its uh, uh, different cultures, which are very important. Every nationality must love its culture, preserve its culture here in Kazakhstan. They're trying to do everything for, that the young people conserve their Kazakh culture, which is important, but also open up their minds and hearts to people of different cultures. When Pope John Paul II was here back in September, uh, 2000, uh, 2001, uh, he, he met with the uh, young people, with the people of culture and education in uh, Astana, and uh, he said that Kazakhstan must be like a bridge, a bridge between the West and the East, because people here in Kazakhstan, although they are in Asia, are very much open to uh, the culture of Europe, which is very fine. The Holy Father Benedict XVI, in the ceremony of the presentation of the credential letters of the new ambassador of Kazakhstan on 18 December 2008, he said in his speech that Many are those who observe with interest Kazakhstan and its fresh manner of managing relations between the religious and the laity to learn lessons from them. It is a singular opportunity offered to your country that must be seized and not let pass. So I think that it's important the work that uh, in Kazakhstan is made at this moment. But it's uh, even important to assure the freedom of all believers to express their uh, beliefs and uh, their way to participate in the construction of a better world. In 2010, Kazakhstan will assume the chairmanship of the OSCE, 
and in 2011, the chairmanship of the Organization of Islamic Conference. The country hopes to seize these opportunities to further promote interreligious dialogue and to make it an essential subject for the future.